Hey, what's up guys? Welcome to the Pixel Lab. That is the Pixel Lab headquarters. I wanted to kind of show you where I work really quick. So let's check it out. Here we go. This is the Pixel Lab headquarters. So this is my office. Here's a film projector that Remco bought me for my birthday, which is really cool. Some awards I won in college. And here is my office setup. Um, I have a standing desk and a stool, so I can stand part of the day if I want to. Got my blue Yeti microphone, and uh, got my trash can back here. You can see I got my cool Pixel Lab logo on the wall. This is a canvas that my little sister made me. Uh, the real reason I brought you up here is because I wanted to show you how to do this kind of worn edge look in Cinema 4D. Um, you can see that there's a different texture sort of peeking through on the edges and it's kind of damaged, it looks really cool. Uh, we can do that really easily uh, with vertex maps. So let's head on over the computer and we'll check it out. All right, office tour is complete, let's get to work. We have our sign here, our canvas, and we want the edges to have that damaged look. So we're gonna create a new material. I'm gonna just make this uh, straight up white material and we're going to paint in a vertex map on this canvas. So my previous tutorial went over how to create vertex maps. Uh, we basically just go to our selection tool and we just draw uh, the selection that we want. So we gotta make sure that this guy is uh, not a primitive, but it's an editable object. So I've done that. I've added lots of subdivisions, so we have a little bit of detail to work with. And then we just paint the edges how we want them. And now all we have to do is hit V, go to select and set vertex weight. Make sure this is at 100%, okay. And now we have our vertex selection and we have our vertex map tag on here. Now, the cool thing about materials is if we go down to the alpha channel and turn it on, and if we go to our texture troll down, if you go down to effects, we have a vertex map slot. So not only can you use vertex maps for deformers and things like that, you can also use them to specify what portion of a model that your material is going to affect. So if we go into our alpha channel and go to our vertex map, which was added, uh, the first thing you want to do is make sure to uncheck image alpha. This is a very important uh, checkbox to make sure that's not on, otherwise it's going to screw everything up. So uncheck that, then go into your vertex map, and we have a slot for our vertex map tag. Just drag that guy in there. And now we have to apply the material to our cube. And now if we hit render, so your vertex map painting is going to show where that material affects your object which is great. However, this looks kind of stupid. If you double click your vertex tag, the, uh, the way that the paintbrush paints it on, it looks pretty digital, uh, pretty gross. So I was looking for a solution to make this look a little bit more organic. And the, uh, the tutorial that kept coming up was this one, which is by um, a guy named Ben Watts. This tutorial is absolute legend. It's uh, a little bit longer, I think it's 35 or 40 minutes, but uh, he goes into showing how to create these edges which are worn. This tutorial covers everything. I really encourage you to go watch it. It's a very, very good tutorial. But the gist of it really quickly is that you add a, a layer into your material, go into your layer, and then what you can do is add a shader noise. And that's going to make the uh, vertex map a little bit more organic. Now if we hit render right now, the noise is going to affect everything. And this is where the magic happens. All you have to do is change the noise from normal down to this lever one. And if you click that, it's going to treat it sort of like a clipping mask, and, like you would in Photoshop, and it's just going to affect that vertex map area. So it's becoming a little bit more organic now. If we go into the noise, you can change the global scale, change that down to 30 or something. And now we're starting to get a little bit more of a noisy edge. Um, you can go ahead and play with your different noises. Uh, there's just a whole bunch of different things you can choose from in here. On vertex map, you can change the opacity on that one, and that's going to mess with it even a little bit more. And you're going to start to get something that's a little bit more organic. So I'm not going to go into too much more detail. I like to keep these short and sweet and just kind of give you an idea of the options that are out there. I really want to give credit to Ben Watson. I want you to head on over there. He actually has a free project file uh, that you can download as well uh, where you can investigate how he's done this and he goes into a lot of detail in this longer tutorial so definitely check that out I'll put that in the description below but hopefully that gives you kind of a little glimpse into the possibilities another way that you can use vertex maps and to use them to really refine the way that you texture your objects I hope that this is helpful to you guys thanks for checking out the pixel lab like always 
We'll see you on the flip side.